Um, I just have a, it might be a, I don't know what type of question it is, but um, I was just wondering, like you say that um, infinity is not real. Mm -hmm. um, and in academia, where calculus is so entwined with physics, mm -hmm. and they have the concept of infinity, right? how does that play in... Well, that's, that's the very reason that I say it's not real. In mathematics, infinity is an abstraction. It's never a real endpoint. You see, you never get to infinity. All you do in mathematics, all you can ever do in mathematics with infinity is approach it, see, in the limit, yeah. right? Yeah. Or you can get asymptotic to it yeah. in the limit. You see, you never can get there. Why can you never get there? It doesn't exist. You can't get there because if you could get there, it wouldn't be infinity. You see, okay. it's, it's bigger, it's the biggest, right? If you ever get to the biggest number, you can always add one to it. Oops, you got a bigger number. It wasn't yeah. infinity, was it? Oh, you can add one to that one too, and it just keeps going forever. Yeah. You see, it's just an abstraction. It's not a reality. So you can't have anything real that's infinite because infinity doesn't exist. It can never be attained. It's an abstraction. It's a concept. That's all. So I take my definition from mathematics and physics. That's where I get my, that's where I get my definition from, and, and that's my infinity. Now, a lot of people use infinity as a metaphor. Infinity just means big. When it's bigger than you can imagine, we say it's infinite. The infinite universe, right? The uh, whatever. Again, you're floating in an inner tube in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, the infinite ocean. We know it's not really infinite. What do you think, uh, what do you think, uh, what? You know, a tiny, you know, postage stamp, a little tiny thing, like a little slim thing like a postage stamp would look like to a, you know, nucleus of one of the atoms that's in one of the molecules of the paper, man, it would look like it was infinite, right? It would be bigger than the larger consciousness system. It just would be totally infinite because it'd be so big that it could hardly imagine it. So that's, the, that's what I mean. So it's no real thing can be infinite because infinite doesn't exist. It's only an abstract idea that you can approach, but you can never get there. So and it's, a, it's an assumed um, thing for convenience. Yeah, you just okay. assume infinity is a concept. It's not a thing. You see, infinity is not a noun. It can't be a thing. It's just, a, it's just a, an idea. You approach it. So yes, the larger consciousness system is very, very big. And if you want to use the metaphor that infinite is very, very big, then you can call the larger consciousness system infinite. But it's not infinite in a precise, logical sense, which means something that doesn't exist. That's why I say if it's real, it's not infinite. It's a finite system. And the reason that's an important distinction is because as soon as you say it's a finite system, because it's a real system, it's real, here we are, we're real, you know, it's a finite system, then it's got boundaries, you see? So suddenly you've, you've created boundaries. If it's got boundaries, it's got something beyond it. It's got something beyond it. Now you've got what this gentleman was talking about. You go beyond the larger constant system and what do you got there? Is that God out there? Yeah, now we're just naming things. So that's why it's important to say that it's finite. Because otherwise, if it's infinite, then there is nothing beyond it. Well, that is an impractical, illogical concept. So from a logical viewpoint, which is like a mathematical viewpoint, it's real, therefore it's finite, therefore it has boundaries, therefore there are things that we just can't know. You see? Well, Tom, I've got to say, you've really got me thinking. <laughs>